What up, y'all? Boy, R to the A to the S, Rise, here with Pacifica Cause Blog. And as you can see, I'm about to review the new Show Baraka. Show Baraka. Talented 10th. All right. I'm going to tell y'all first offhand, I'm talking about the clean version. This is the clean version, not the explicit version. I have to hear the explicit version. I haven't heard it yet. Not going to buy it. If I hear it online, I hear it. You want to know my thoughts on the cussing and all that? I did a video. Look on the website. Corey Red. I did a whole thing on cussing. Give you my thoughts and opinions on Christian and cussing. So I'm not going to answer a whole bunch of questions. I'm just going to refer you to that video. If you agree with me, you don't, you don't. All right. Now, first song, Bethesda. Uh, he I, what I like about the song, he crowns a lot of content into this Ron song. Kind of reminds me of a, a, a Nas song where, you know, he has like different thoughts and different things like that. Um, very inspirational song, um, inspirational beat. Of course, Bethesda, the pool of Bethesda, you know, John chapter 5, the lame man went to the pool. Was it a lame man? Whatever kind of man. Some kind of dude with a problem went to the pool and got healed, you know. So, um, this really sets the tone for the album, man. I like this song, first song. Now, this song is a very dark beat. Um, the subject matter matches with it. Um, kind of reminds me of a Kanye beat. The uh, swoop kind of reminds me of that. Uh, really storytelling what's going on in the culture. This is more the negative aspects, not representing the talent of ten. Um, I'm not sure on the explicit version does he cuss, but uh, he says like a self-proclaimed bad, and then it stops. Now you know what it said, the B word. So I don't know, but uh, for me, I like the song. I I don't love it. Because the way he does some of his reflections, the whole thing, I don't know why, and all that type of stuff. I mean, this is a serious song, and it's kind of has this silly aspect to it, so I'm not really feeling that part. But other than that, I like this song. Uh, it's intermission. Same beginning as Oh My Lord from his uh, original album. I don't know what's the significance of that, but... Just an intermission, man. Just like, oh my lord. Nothing really to say about it. Uh, you got Deuce Banner on here. Produced by Swoop. Definitely church vibe on here. Style-wise, man, I like it. It's just a real fun track. I don't know what's the, the meaning or purpose, but it does a lot of lyrical, I guess it's wordplay. Y'all know I ain't into, I don't know I don't technical term. I guess it's wordplay. He does a lot on here. Uh, this dude Deuce, he's decent. I'm not blown away by him, but he's he's straight. I like I like his uh confidence. Flo could use a little bit of work, but yeah, man, just a a, a real a real fun song. I don't know. Deuce kind of reminds me of Chad Jones in some sense. I don't know why, but anyway, I like this song. It's a straight song. No, this song right here, man. JR sounds like for real, like this a Neptune type beat. I'm not feeling this. It's not wrong with the beat per se, but I think JR really. Can I get some more? I get some more. Come on, JR. You is not for real, brother. You JR, BJR. I don't want to hear that. Um. And then it's just the whole vibe is like a Neptune's thing. Like how he kind of whispers, showing him, it just does not work for me, man. Though lyrically I like it, but this song don't work for me, I'm sorry. Ali, I'm going to be honest, when I first heard this, I was like, this is straight. But this album better not be like this, man. I do not need, you might as well just stay on Reach Records. If you're going to do a whole album like this, you might as well stay on Reach. But thankfully, this is the only song like this. And I'm not saying it because I don't like this song. I love this song. But as long as it's just one song like this, which it is, I mean, it's a nice head bobbing beat, very relaxing. Um, 
subject matter fine. It's a great song. I'm just glad it's the only song like this on the album. Uh, this song, man, I don't know if you're familiar with the sister, uh, Shante Can. Y'all probably know her more than me, but I looked up on YouTube. I'm like, the sister said left the India already. And then I looked up, she performed with Foreign Exchange. And her voice, man, is so dope. I mean, he needs to, if he can, he needs to get her on his tracks more often. Christian rappers, y'all need to reach out to this sister. This sister is professional. I mean, she can sing, and she just, she is so good. I love this sister. I believe you, that's how you pronounce her name, Shantae Can. Susie Rock. I'm not a Susie Rock hater. Um, I know some of y'all don't like Susie Rock. I think she's straight on here. Of course, again, the whole limit testing with the whole, the A word that gets distorted out. Um, was it necessary? I mean, I'll let y'all debate that, but I mean, she's straight on here. Um, the whole uh, swag and class, I mean, it's been covered a killion times in hip hop. But, I mean, what, Christian hip hop, but what makes this so dope is this beat, man. These dudes, what do they call? Uh, the beat something, the beat breakers. Ooh, they, they got some dope horns on here, man. It's not just a simple horn. It's just, not, I ain't saying it's complex, but it's not just a little simple sample. It's, that's a, that's a dope horn, man. Uh, I really like this song. Very dope. Uh, Madoff, name not the Birdie Madoff, I'm assuming, y'all know who that is, the brother, rich brother in jail, robbing folks of their monies, and of course, lyrically, I think Shaw gives you a lot to think about on this track, um, the hood rat cheese line, come on, man, that's been used a billion times, I think, as well, man, hood rat cheese, that line, they, they gotta die, man, gotta go. Right now, like my man Young John say, gotta go in Christian hip hop. Uh, but the only thing I don't like about this song is I don't think the chorus is that catchy, man. Uh, it could have used a, a better chorus, better hook on this song. I don't know what's going on with the, with the little spoken word at the end. Uh, call it propaganda, brother. You are not no spoken word artist. Simple as that. Now, if you've seen the interview I did with uh, Show Baraki, you know he talked about the song Color Island. And this song, I'll be honest, I didn't expect it to be exactly like I pictured it, but it's exactly like I pictured it. The beat, from the beat to the subject matter, everything is like I pictured it. Um, of course, there's a split version of this. Now, again, I'm not going to get into that, all of that. But this is like a flawless track. Only thing I don't like on this clean version, I think he should have said Coon Island instead of Color Island. Colored is, to me, a, a term of pride. I don't think of it as a, a bad thing like Jigger Island or something like that. But he should have said I've been stuck here on Coon Island. That would have been better to me. But other than that, I think it's a flawless track, man. Peter Pan, all right. We want that real hip hop, that real hip hop. I like that, man, I like that hook, man. There's a real throwback type of beat. I did not expect Boom Bap on here, I'm sorry. I did not expect it. Really surprised me, but this is a dope beat, man. Ali kills it on here. Uh, just how his, I mean, some basically about how his attitude has changed. Uh, growing up on hip hop and how he changed the person becoming a Christian and how hip hop is basically stayed the same, you know, like Peter Pan, the boy that never wanted to grow up. This could be like another Michael Jackson type thing. But I know that, that wasn't the pur purpose. It's a very relaxing, calm song, man, just make you want to bob your head. You know what I'm saying? It touches your emotions. That's why I like music that touches me emotionally. You know what I'm saying? So. This is a dope song. Dope it is. Dope, dope, dope. 
Cliff and Claire, man, this is probably my favorite beat by um, Swoop, man. Definitely on here. It definitely gonna go up as one of my favorite beats by Swoop, period. This beat is crazy, man. The piano, uh, the the women harmonizer with the singing kind of reminds me of um, something that Derrick Minor does. Like he does like the little harmony thing, has that sort of vibe to it. The storytelling on here, this is one of the, uh, um, Show Baraka's best storytelling song, man. How he gives the, uh, I mean, even from the beginning with the married couple, they just totally look at things different. You can just tell from the beginning that this marriage is going to be in trouble. There definitely ain't no cliff and clad, you know, a little fake. I ain't going to go there. I ain't going to talk about the cops. I know y'all love the cops. I'm going to leave that alone. But anyway, uh, but you can tell this marriage is in trouble. And so how and how it resolves each other. This is dope, man. This is a dopey, dope, 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 dope story telling song, man. This is a flawless song to me. Ah, uh, Lee Green. Now I know Lee Green. That brother is. I'm sure he's younger than me, but that brother be sounding like he an old man. I know he got an old man beard, but that brother be sounding like he like he fulfilling. Is he fulfilling or something? He got that old man beard, but that brother sound like he about 60 years old, man. Singing style, man. Sound like old, uh, old mellow yellow or something, man. With the, like he blind or something. Dude, dude sound very right old with the blue sound. Um, these are jokes, people. These are jokes. Don't be out. You're a Lee Green fan. Do not get upset. These are jokes. But anyway, uh, Lee Green, it doesn't work for me on this one. I love this, the blues vibe he did with um on uh propagandas i love it but on this song it doesn't work for me but i still like the song uh despite that theory has it kind of reminds me of uh his style kind of andre 3000 s i mean it's cool but it kind of has an andre 3000 vibe to me uh y'all yeah, know i don't want to hear nothing about no rehab i'm rehabbed out i od on rehab he started talking about rehab and the hood man I don't need to hit no more rehab. We have rehab the overdose. We have rehab this. We have rehab it. We done with rehab, man. And, and show want to put us back in rehab. Good. Crazy. So, yeah, I was not feeling the rehab stuff. But other than that, I like the song, man. Just they look, I think, you know what I'm saying, Lee Green could have been a bit better, man. Just a little bit better, man. I mean, it's cool for him to do the um, Muddy Waters or Bobby Blue, man, whatever, but he didn't capture me on this song. I like him on other songs though, but no, I didn't like his singing on this song, in my opinion. This song right here, man, is the song. I'll put it as a surprise of the year so far, years young, but listening to this beat, I'm sorry, the last person, it's not a diss. I'm just, my creative mind would not just think that way. I would not think. Hmm, this beat. I know who'd be perfect on this. Tadashi. Like, no, I would not think that. This just, it totally surprised me, man. Hearing Tadashi over this type of beat. But this, man, this this might be my favorite song on here, man. Tadashi kills it, man. Uh, this woman singing. Oh, I love her voice. What is her name? Uh... Liz or something? Liz or something, man. I thought I wrote it down, I didn't, but Sister Liza, or Liz, is that Liza? Liza, 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 whatever. She could really say, I had to look her up, man. I said, I, I, I wasn't familiar with her. I thought she was black. I didn't know she was white. I thought this was a, a sister. You know what I'm saying? A black sister. She is a sister. I thought she was a sister uh, twice. You know what I'm saying? But this is, I, I like her. I saw listen to her on Spotify. I love her voice, man. This has a very weird vibe to it, the weird saying. But then this boom bell beat, man, it just, I love it. It's just so weird, so different. I just, I love stuff like that. When it's, when you take chances and it works, I love it. You take chances and it sucks. So you out your box and it sucks. I don't love it. But I love this song, man. This might be my favorite on here. I love this song. Now, when I was doing it, you know, listening to this in the car, I had no idea who produces. I'm, but I'll I listen to it like, man, this, 
these drums are killing it, man. And I looked it up, it was JR. Now, y'all know I'm a JR stand. Wasn't feeling them on the, the, the Pharrell type stuff, man. But on this one, man, the drums, he kills it, man. Just a, mm -hmm. And then the whole beat, man, is a dope, dope beat. Um, yeah, and then what's her name? I keep forgetting her name. Uh, Diamond A. She, I mean, she used to be the main staple on Reese Records. I know she was, I think she was on Shane Kidd's last album, but it's good just to hear her again, man. She used to, I mean, she was the woman. She was the woman. You know what I'm saying? They, hopefully they get back and reconnect to start performing with her again. It was just so good to hear her yet again. Um, and this song, you know, this kind of surprised me, but I had to check and see, what is this the wrong record label? Was this supposed to be on a uh, uh, lap mode recording or something? I, I just never thought he would go, you know, this type of song. This sounds like a, a Timothy Brindle song or something. This brother, well, yeah, show surprised me with this one. I didn't expect it on this album, but it's just a straight up worship song, Diamond Name. I'm, I'm sure I pronounced her name wrong. Sorry, sister. Probably ain't watching this anyway, but Diamond Name killed it. Um, I just love this song as well, man.